Shalom, Yasharal Shalom. This is your Kadash Alahayim coming at you with another quick lesson. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise on and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Barakatha. Yahweh being the name of our Heavenly Father, the Ancient of Days, the Lord of Hosts, the Almighty. And Yahweh Shai being the name of His only begotten Son, our Lord and Savior, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Right? And um, I have a, a quick lesson. I'm try to keep it real quick. You know, um, about pressing forward, man, keep moving forward in this walk. You know, this walk get very lonely, you know, it get very hard in this walk, you know, and it get very um sad and sorrowful. Cause you see, you look around and you see family, you see friends stuck in their ways and you know what's about to happen. You know what's coming. You know what type of judgment the Lord is about to bring on this earth. So, you know, it hurts to see your family, you know, still going against the words of the Heavenly Father. Even though you have Christian family members, you know, they, they be in the word, but they don't be in the word like they supposed to be, you know, with the correct doctrine, with the correct understanding, you know, um, they probably church goers go to church every Sunday, you know, and um, they probably pray over their food. When y'all sit down and have a family dinner, they'll sit there, they'll pray over their food, so they appear to be godly, but they be denying the power thereof. You know what I'm saying? But it's on you. You know what I'm saying? Nobody else. It's on you to stay focused and stay diligent in this walk. Um, you know, um, it gets hard, man. It gets hard, you know, being an outcast of the family. And, and everybody think you're going crazy. You know, everybody thinking you're taking the Bible too serious. And, um... Your family, you know, they're going to be the ones that turn their back on you. You know, they're going to be the ones that give you up in that day. You know what I'm saying? A man's foes should be there, be um, that of his own household. So basically, it's on you, man, to stay focused in this walk and work out your own salvation and keep pressing toward the prize. We want our crown of life, man. We want to earn that. You know, we want to hear a um, um, job well done. You know, my my faithful servant. You know what I'm saying? Um I'm just trying to encourage brothers to keep pushing forth in this walk, man. We with you. You know what I'm saying? We with you. I'm going to start off with the book of Luke chapter 9 and verse 59. And it reads, And he said unto another, follow me. But he said, Lord, suffer me first to go and bury my father. Yahweh said unto him, let the dead bury their dead, but go thou and preach the kingdom of the most high. Right. Verse 61. And another also said, Lord, I will follow thee, but let me first go bid them farewell, which are at home at my house. <laughs> right. Uh, verse 62. And Yahweh said unto him, no man having his hand to the plow and looking back is fit for the kingdom of the most high. And, and Yahweh is absolutely right, man. No man looking back, you know, looking on whatever it may be, you looking back to go help somebody do something, you know what I'm saying? Like you putting things behind, things that are behind you before doing the work of the Heavenly Father, man. You can't do that. You can't do that in this walk. You got to keep pressing toward the prize, man. No man having his hand on the plow and looking back is fit for the kingdom, man. You can't look back. And that's spiritual. You know what I'm saying? Not just looking back, turning around, looking back. No, you, you spiritually, you know, looking back and dwelling on your past life, man. You dwelling on things that don't matter no more. You know what I'm saying? Let the dead bury their dead, man. Why he called them dead who who alive burying a dead person because they spiritually dead, man. They spiritually dead. That's why he say let the dead bury their dead, you know, because they're spiritually dead. They don't know what's going on, man. But you know what's going on in this walk. You know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? You you got to follow your house shot. Just like he said, you ain't going to be able to follow him with your hand on the plow and you looking back. When you leave the world, you know, when you leave the world, you must leave it alone. You know what I'm saying? You can't go back to the world. He said, be in the world, but don't be of the world. You know what I'm saying? You can't go back into the world once you don't got the knowledge that it's true, man. You know? All right. So um, let me get the book of Philippians chapter three. And I'm going to start at verse 13. So like it, bear with me. 
Philippians chapter 3 and verse 13, and it reads, Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things that are before. Right, man. So you must forget about those things that, that's behind, man. Forget about those times you used to hang out with your homies, chasing women, smoking weed. You know what I'm saying? You got to forget about that. You got to forget about that dream you had of being a, a famous rapper, you know, rapping about folly and madness and prom promoting adultery and violence to your people. You got to forget about that. You got to get that out your head. You know what I'm saying? When you come to serve the most high, man, you got to be on point, you know, sober, vigilant. You know what I'm saying? You got to be on point. And um, verse 14, it say, I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of the most high and Hamashiach Hawasha. You know what I'm saying? You got to press toward that mark and that prize. And what's that prize, man? The kingdom of heaven. You know what I'm saying? You want our Lord and Savior to give you that crown of life, man. That's what we aiming for. And you got to always keep that in mind. You know what I'm saying? Crown of life over everything else. You know what I'm saying? You got to, you got to, um, it's how bad you really want it, man. It's how bad you really want it. If you, if you lukewarm in this truth, you're going to get spewed out. You know what I'm saying? If you have a, um, a false understanding of the scriptures or you, you being, um, seduced by seducing spirits and doctrines of devils taking heed, the doctrines of devils, you, you're not going to make it straight up. You're not going to make it. You know, um, the only way to make it is to keep pressing forward, man. To keep pressing forward. Keep these laws and commandments. Keep the faith in his son, man, and keep pressing forward. Right? So let me go to Luke um, 17 and 32. The book of Luke, chapter 17 and verse 32. So like it, bear with me. This is the book of Luke, chapter 17 and verse 32. And it reads, remember Lot's wife. You know what I'm saying? Remember Lot's wife. What happened with Lot's wife? You know what I'm saying? What happened with Lot's wife? She looked back, you know, after, you know, the most high told Lot to tell his wife, you know, don't look back, keep, keep pushing forward. And what she did, she looked back. She didn't literally turn around and look back. She was dwelling on her past. You know what I'm saying? She wanted to go back to Gomorrah, Sodom and Gomorrah. She wanted to go back. You know what I'm saying? She was looking back. She wanted to go back into the world, basically. That's basically what she did, right? She basically wanted to go back into the world, right? And it say, um, verse 33, whosoever shall seek to save his life shall lose it. And whosoever shall lose his life shall preserve it. So if you're looking to um, save your life, you know, your old ways, your old habits to be with old friends, you know what I'm saying? You're going to lose your life. If you're looking to save your life, you're going to lose it. And if you lose your life, meaning, you know, you come out the world, you stop celebrating these traditions of men, you stop breaking the most highest laws and commandments, you know, start keeping them to the best of your ability. You're going to lose your life because you put in away things that you love for the heavenly father. You know what I'm saying? You making, you presenting your body as a living sacrifice. You, you sacrificing things that you like to do for the heavenly father, for the things that he wants you to do, that he needs you to do to sustain life. You know what I'm saying? Cause anything outside of these commandments and um, the faith in his son is death. You know what I'm saying? It's death. And it ain't just, Oh, you die. You go to the casket. No, you spiritually die out here. You know what I'm saying? When you look around, when you go outside and you look around, I'm out here in Vegas. So when you go outside to the Vegas Strip or somewhere and you look around where it's a nice amount of people, all you see is dead people walking, man. It's just dead people walking. They don't know what's going on. They don't know what's going on. They don't know how their mind work. They don't know how the Lord work. They don't know how his only begotten son work. You know what I'm saying? They don't know how life really truly is supposed to be. You know what I'm saying? And um, it's sad. You know, um, let me go to the book of wisdom of Solomon in um, Apocrypha, chapter 10 and verse 7. Chapter 10 and verse 7. So, like it, bear with me. This is the book of wisdom of Solomon, chapter 10 and verse 7. And it reads, Of whose wickedness, even to this day, 
the wasteland that smoketh is a testimony. And it's speaking of Sodom and Gomorrah. The wasteland that smoketh is a testimony. And the plants being in the plants bearing, bearing fruit that never come to ripeness. And a standing pillar of salt is a monument of an unbelieving soul. Right? So that unbelieving soul was Lot's wife, man. The most I say, remember Lot's wife. Because she got turned into a pillar of salt. For really not believing her husband, you know what I'm saying? For being unbelieving. And and those that look back and dwell on their past and want to go back into the world, you you truly don't believe. You are unbelieving, an unbelieving soul. You know what I'm saying? So remember Lot's wife, man, and, and always think about her every time you want to go back into the world, every time you want to look back and um bring out that old man, you know, people in the truth, you know. It's a testimony at the same time, but still a lot of people in the truth, they like to look back and talk about the things they used to do or who they used to be. And they be wanting to be that again. You know what I'm saying? They be wanting to go back to that, you know, so be careful when you bring up your past and, you know, and you talk about it a lot. When you hear somebody talking about their past a lot, that, that usually means they want to go back to it and do what they used to do in the world. You know what I'm saying? So be cautious of that, you know, be cautious of you dwelling on your past, you know, and be cautious of people that's around you that's always constantly bringing up your past, you know, because a lot of times they want to see you go back to doing what you used to do, you know, and um, uh, let me get the book of Genesis chapter 19 and verse 17. Okay, this is the book of Genesis chapter 19 and verse 17, and it reads, And it came to pass when they had brought them forth abroad that he said, Escape for thy life, look not behind thee. Neither, neither stay thou in all the plain, escape to the mountain, lest thou be consumed, right? So that's the angel of the Lord talking to Lot, telling him what to do, you know, giving him, giving him the blueprint. You know, he said, look not behind thee, look not behind thee, right? And that's what Lot told his wife, right? The same the same exact thing that the angels told him to tell them, that's what he told his wife, right? And um, I'm going to jump to verse 26 real quick, right? But his wife looked back from behind him and she became a pillar of salt. So that's what happened to Lot's wife. You know, she looked back, you know, um, Yahweh said, no man having his hand on the plow, on the plow looking back is, is fit for the kingdom. You know what I'm saying? She wasn't fit for the kingdom. She kept dwelling on her past who she used to be. You know, you're not that no more. You got to keep pressing forward. And that goes into, you know, you you women, you know what I'm saying? You ribs, you know, listen to your husband, man. If your husband is in this truth, in this walk, man, hearken unto your husband because the Lord is really dealing with your husband. You know what I'm saying? The Lord is really dealing with your husband. The Lord can tell your husband something and he present it to you. You know what I'm saying? It could be life or death. You know, the decision you make, whether you choose to obey your husband or not, it could be literally life or death. You know what I'm saying? And it don't always have to be you in the casket. It can be a spiritual death. You know what I'm saying? So really take heed to a man of the Lord, man. When when the Lord speak, you know, he speak through his prophets, man. He speak by the mouth of his prophets. So, and that's a prime example of Lot's wife. You know, she did not hearken to her husband. So she didn't hearken unto the Lord. And she looked back. She was dwelling on her past. You know, she wanted to, to be in the world still, you know, follow the traditions of man, the customs of man. She didn't believe. Just like in the days of Noah, when Noah was prophesying the destruction, ain't nobody hearkened to him. And they all was destroyed. And the same thing, man. Keep pressing toward the prize. Don't look back, man. Keep moving forward. Right? Um, let me get the book of Hebrews. <sighs> so like it, bear with me. Get the book of Hebrews chapter 10 and verse, I'm going to start at verse 35 and it reads, Cast not away, therefore, your confidence, which hath great recompense of reward. 
So cast not away your confidence, man. You have a great recompense of reward when you when you don't cast off your confidence. You know, keep pressing forward. All right, verse 36. For ye, for ye need, so like it, for ye have need of patience. And when you go into that word, patience is mean to suffer. You know what I'm saying? Uh, verse 36 again. For ye have need of patience that after ye have done the will of the Most High, ye might receive the promise. And we all know who the promise is for, you know, the children of Israel, you know, um, verse 37, for yet a little while and he that shall come will come and will not tarry. You know, the Lord will not tarry, man. He said he was coming. He going to come. You know what I'm saying? He said he was going to deliver you and redeem you. He's coming. The Lord is not a man that he should lie, man. Um, verse 38. Now the just shall live by faith. But if any man draw back, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. So the just shall live by faith, you know, and um, faith is an action word. You know what I'm saying? When you have faith, you you perform the law. You know what I'm saying? You you keep his laws to the best of your ability. You rehearse the righteous act. You keep his feast days, his high holy days. You know what I'm saying? You keep the Shabbat. You keep it holy. You keep his commandments to the best of your ability. That's That's faith, man. That's faith, doing the work, performing the law. He said, but if any man draw back, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. You know, if any man, you know, stop doing the work, you know, stop keeping the commandments, go back into the world, start keeping the traditions of the man, the most I say his, his, his soul shall have no pleasure in him, right? Verse 39, but we are not of them who draw back unto perdition but of them that believe to the saving of the soul. And that's us, man. We're not going to draw back to perdition. Perdition is utter destruction. You know what I'm saying? So if you go back into the world, that's utter destruction. Remember Lot's wife. That's utter destruction. Remember the days of Noah, you know, when everyone was destroyed for not hearkening to the, to the words of the Most High. It's utter destruction, man. We not of them that draw back. We cut from a different cloth. You know what I'm saying? We're not going to go back into the world. We're going to get deeper into this walk, man. We're going to get deeper into this walk. That's us. That's what we do. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm going to read verse 39 again. But we are not of them who draw back unto perdition, but of them that believe to the saving of the soul, man. Do you believe your soul can be saved? You know, doing what the most I do? Because I damn sure do, you know. And my brothers, you know, they damn sure do. The people I surround myself with, they damn sure do. You know what I'm saying? And um, you got to you gotta keep pressing toward the prize. You got to keep pressing toward the crown of life, man, the kingdom of heaven. That's what we all want, you know? Let me get the book of Psalms, chapter um, 85. And verse 85 and verse, um, so like to bear with me. I'm going to start at verse 8. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 85. My 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 daughter that wrote all that in my Bible, but this is the book of Psalms 85 and verse 8. And it reads, I will hear what the Most High Yahweh will speak, for he will speak peace unto his people and to his saints. But let them not turn again to folly, right? And folly is foolishness, man. The Most High said he's going to uh, preach peace, you know, speak peace unto his people and to his saints, you know, but let them not turn again to folly, man. You know, you get the word of the Heavenly Father, you get the gospel, you know what I'm saying? Your mind become healed, you know, you start moving different in, in, in um, the path of righteousness, right? And then you turn, you turn back to the foolishness, you know what I'm saying? One of your old friends pop up and tell you to come hang out and y'all just doing they still on the same folly you know they still doing the same thing that you used to do in the world and now they bringing you back into it man don't do that man the most i say uh let them not turn again to 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 folly man
sick, yeah. I want that rock, that's it, yeah. I want that rock, that's it, yeah. I can't quit, yeah. I want that rock, that's it, I want that rock, that's it, yeah. I want that rock, that's it, yeah. No addiction, I want that rock, that's it, yeah. That is the drug, I can't quit, We had it up like a fist, yeah. I got the king on my lick, but demons aren't coming equipped. I believe them like a pig. I got the king on where my manners on speak. I'm turning the beat to a kitchen. I praise them with all my existence. I'm doing it for all my descendants. This is the land of the living. We giving you true, not religion. Heaven and hell is division. Please hurry and make your decision. A sinner be looking suspicious. That salvation don't come easy. I hope that you're so believe me. Like a fire could go be easy. We gotta repent, cause this not a game. I dropped on my knees. But my shit, I came to give us a game. He gave me the keys. We came from the mud, we put in the work, we pull up our sleeves. Can you come back and be holding it down? Can you come back and be holding it down? Yeah, 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 I want that rock, that's it. I want that rock, that's it. No addiction. I want that rock, that's it. That is the drug I can quit. We had it up like a fist. I got the king on my lick. But demons aren't coming equal. I believe them like a pig. I got the king on my lick. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shalom, Yasharala Shalom. This your Ak Kadash Alahayim coming at you with another quick lesson. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shah, Barakata. Yahweh being the name of our Heavenly Father, the Ancient of Days, the Lord of Hosts, the Almighty. And Yahweh Shah being the name of His only begotten Son, our Lord and Savior, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. You know, and I just wanted to do a continuum of a lesson I did about crown of life over everything else. You know what I'm saying? And and this walk, that's what it is. That's what it got to be. That got to be your mentality. You know, it's the crown of life over everything else. You know, let no man take your crown from you. You know what I'm saying? Stay diligent in this walk. You know, stay rooted in this walk. Whenever you get, um, you know, tired of studying or tired of um, reading, you know, work on the fruits of the spirit. You know what I'm saying? Work on the fruits of the spirit. And, um... Just stay rooted and grounded in this walk, man, and don't look back on your past. Don't keep looking backwards. You know, move forward, man. Christ said, any man having his hand on the plow and looking back is not fit for the kingdom. We got to be fit for the kingdom, man. We got to keep, we got to stay on that straight and narrow path and keep moving forward. And um, the last verse that I was on, on the last lesson, um, on part one, I was on Psalms 85 and verse 8, and that's what we're going to jump to. I'm going to start on Psalms 85 and verse 8, right? All right, so this is the book of Psalms, chapter 85 and verse 8, and it reads, I will hear what the Most High Yahweh will speak, for he will speak peace unto his people and to his saints, but let them not turn again to folly. So the Most High going to speak peace to us. He going to heal us from all our wickedness. He going to um, reveal things to us, you know. He going to reveal the evil that we was around and that, that we was doing. You know, unknowingly, he going to reveal that to us, you know, and once we, you know, once we discover that and once it's revealed to us, we got to separate from that, you know, and that goes into being holy. You know, that word holy means to be separate. So we have to separate from the wickedness that we was once seeing and we got to stay separated from it. If not, you're going to get lured back in and you're going to return back to your vomit. You know what I'm saying? Let's go to the book of Proverbs 26 and verse 11. Right. 
So be cautious out here, man, in this walk. Don't think you can just outpower them devils that you that had control of you all your life. You know what I'm saying? Don't think you just can automatically outpower them. No, you got to stay fasting. You got to stay praying. And you got to stay seeking the face of the Most High through these scriptures. Right? So this is the book of um, Proverbs chapter 26 and verse 11. And it reads, As a dog returneth to his vomit, so a fool, so a fool returneth to his folly. Right? So as a dog return it to his vomit, so a fool return it to his folly. A dog is a not so bright animal. You know what I'm saying? The dogs are not so smart. A dog is not so smart. So as a dog return to his vomit, a fool return to his folly. You know, and what what's your folly? You know, you probably had a uh you probably was battling with, you know, lust. You was battling with adultery, sleeping with other um married men's wives. You know what I'm saying? You were probably battling with drugs. You was probably battling with um, eating swine and seafood. You know, once you come into this knowledge, you got to stay away from that stuff because it's evil. In the sight of the Lord, it's evil. You know what I'm saying? And um, you can't return to that foolishness. You, Like I said, you can't go hanging out with the people that you once hung out with that, that's not trying to find the Lord. You know what I'm saying? You can't be around those people because... You know, you can't be unequally yoked, you know what I'm saying, with unbelievers, man. You cannot be unequally yoked with unbelievers because they will pull you back into that lifestyle that you was once in. You know, if you know somebody who always going to low country balls, you know what I'm saying, and going to eat crab, seafood, and they invite you out to go eat, and they invite you to go eat to, to a seafood, to a low country ball, don't do that, man. You're going to get sucked back in into eating seafood. You know, and that's that's serious. The Most High say that's an abomination to us, right? People overlook the words of the Most High because they ultimately they don't believe. You know what I'm saying? So don't be unequally yoked with unbelievers. You know what I'm saying? You're going to get pulled back into that same lifestyle. You're going to look back like, damn, them, them roaches was good. You know, them roaches of the sea was good. You know, they was good, <laughs> you know, and um. You just can't go back to that. You gotta avoid the wicked, man. Like my brother King Easy say, man, he got a song called Avoid the Wicked. You gotta avoid the wicked, man. In these last days, you must avoid the evil and stay on that straight and narrow path, right? So I encourage brothers and sisters, man, don't turn back to your vomit. Don't turn back to your folly, your foolishness. You know what I'm saying? Just keep pressing toward the prize. That's that's what we're called to do, to keep pressing toward the prize. All right, let me get the book of Second Peter. Uh, so like it, bear with me. Second Peter chapter two. Bear with me. The book of second Peter chapter two and verse. Let me see what I want. Second Peter chapter two, and I'm going to start at verse 21. And it reads, for it had been better for them to not have known the way of righteousness than after they have known it to turn from the holy commandment delivered unto them. So, you know, Peter's saying that it's better for them to not have known the way of righteousness. You know what I'm saying? It's better that you haven't even known the way of righteousness than to know it and then to turn away from the command, you know, the commandments really. You know, the commandments that was delivered unto them. You know, it's better that you not even come into this truth than to, to know this truth and then turn away from the command. You know what I'm saying? The commandment. That's 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 foolish. That's very foolish. Right? Because this Bible is very serious. People don't know how serious these scriptures are. How, how serious the Most High is about his word, about his son. You know what I'm saying? People don't understand how serious this truth is. And when you turn from it, it's like you playing with the most high. And you don't want to do that. You do not want him to walk contrary unto you. You know, it's all bad once the heavenly father start walking contrary unto you because you starting to walk contrary unto him. It's all bad. All right. So verse 22, it says, but it is happened unto them according to the true proverb. The dog is turned to his own vomit again. Right. We just read that in the book of Proverbs and Peter is quoting from the book of Proverbs. You know, the New Testament is always being referenced by
by the Old Testament. That's why you guys must read the Old Testament and not just dwell on the New Testament. To get a full understanding of the scriptures, you must read the whole thing, you know, from the old to the new, from the beginning to the end, right? So it says, verse 22 again, but it has happened unto them according to the true proverb, the dog is turned to his own vomit again, and the soul that was washed to her wallowing in the mire, you know, and the soul is swine, you know, and the swine that was washed to her wallowing in the mire, and the mire is um, dung. You know, it's shit, doo-doo. So like it for the language, it's doo-doo. So like if a swine was washed and made clean, you know, on the outside, and then it go out, go go back to the mud and start rolling around in its feces, you know what I'm saying? It's pointless. What was the purpose of you being cleansed from your sins? You know what I'm saying? What was the purpose of you coming into this truth if you just gonna go back to being your old self? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's pointless. Don't look back. Don't be Lot's wife. You know what I'm saying? Don't go back into the world. You know, it's better that you hadn't even known the path of righteousness than to know it and turn from it. You know what I'm saying? Let me get the book of Ephesians chapter 4. So like it, bear with me. Galatians, Ephesians chapter 4, and I'm going to start at verse, um, I'm going to start at verse 22, and it reads, that ye put off concerning the former conversation, the old man, which is corrupt according to the deceitful lust. So the most high saying, put off the former conversation, you know, and when you go into that word conversation, it's not just you know, you have a form of conversation the way you used to talk, the way you used to talk in the world. No, that word conversation goes into uh, conduct or behavior. You know, so put off the formal behavior, the form of conduct, how you used to conduct yourself when you wasn't in the truth. You know what I'm saying? It said um, that you put off concerning the form of conversation, the old man, which is corrupt according to the deceitful lust. So your formal, your formal behavior in this world was very deceitful. It was very corrupt. You know what I'm saying? You must put off that formal behavior, man. You must put it off. You can't go back to doing what you used to do. You know what I'm saying? And um, verse 23, it said, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind and that ye put on the new man, which is after the most high is created in righteousness and true holiness, man. And righteousness, you know, his laws are what's righteous. His commandments are what's righteous. You know, that's the righteousness. And, you know, um, and true holiness. You know, and I already told you, holy means to be separate. You know, so 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 being separate, you know what I'm saying? So being be, keeping his commandments and being separate. Departing from the evil, man. Avoiding the evil. Avoiding the wicked. You know, you have to, you have to really avoid, abstain from all appearances of evil when you're in this walk. Because you will go back. You will be Lot's wife. You will look back. You know, into the world and want to go back and you will be turned into a pillar of salt. You're going to be salty out here. You know what I'm saying? The most high have the power to make you salty at all times. You know, like you see people that's not in this truth. You know, they always walking around bitter, having an attitude, mad at the world. You know, because the most high put that salt on them, man. He put that, that spirit of Lot's wife on them and now they salty. You know what I'm saying? A pillar of salt. Right? So put off the former behavior the form of conduct how you used to conduct yourself in the world being lawless you know breaking all the most highest commandments you know and his commandments are not grievous you know it's when you first come into this walk and you start seeing the evil he start revealing what's evil and and how you used to be um saturated in all that wickedness man you must separate from that you know you must separate from that and then you must stay away from that you can't go back into it you know, you can't you can't mix uh, light with darkness. You can't do that. It's like oil and water. It don't mix. You know, so keep on that straight and narrow path. You know, keep fighting for righteousness and keep going forward. Keep pressing toward the prize. Right. So let me get the book of Second Second Corinthians, chapter five. So like it. Bear with me. 
2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse uh, and verse 17. That's the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 17 and it reads Therefore if any man so like it. Therefore if any man be in Christ he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold all things are become new. Right so you must put on that new man. You must become a new person. You must, you know, them old friends that you used to hang around, they'd be like, uh, -uh don't even invite him nowhere because he done changed. Or she don't even, don't even invite her because she, she, she gonna start talking that Bible to all of us if she come with us. We ain't even gonna end up going out. You know what I'm saying? So you wanna, you wanna be a new creature in Hamashiach Yahweh You wanna be a new creature in Christ. All old things are passed away. You done left it alone. It, it's dead to you. All that old stuff you used to do is dead to you. You know what I'm saying? You you don't put on a new creature. You know what I'm saying? You don't you don't became a new person, and people will respect that man. They'll hate it. You know, people won't like it, but they have no choice but to respect it because you're doing what's pleasing in the in the sight of the Lord, and that's first and foremost, man. We're trying to get our crown of life, man. It's crown. It's the crown of life over everything else, man. It's the crown of life over everything else. Would you rather please everybody in the world? Or you rather please the heavenly father and make it to the kingdom? You know? What would you rather do? Let's go to the book of James, chapter 1, verse 12. So like it, bear with me. Okay, this is the book of James, chapter 1, and verse 12, and it reads, Blessed is the man that endureth temptation. For when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life which Yahweh have promised to them that love him, right? Which Yahweh have promised to them that love him. So blessed is the man that endured temptation, man. Your friends, your family, they're going to tempt you. They're going to tempt you. The, the spiritual demon Satan going to use somebody close to you to tempt you into going back into the world, to doing the things you used to do, to being the man who you used to be, to being the woman who you used to be. You know what I'm saying? But you must endure until the end. You must endure that temptation, man to receive a crown of life that was promised to you man from the beginning of time you know from the beginning of time man that crown of life was promised to you and you got to receive that man how bad do you want it you know what i'm saying are you gonna get tricked out the kingdom you gonna let the serpent come and beguile you out the kingdom don't do that man that's not wise don't turn back to your vomit don't turn back to your folly cut cut off all distractions focus on his laws focus on his, the words of his only begotten son man and, and keep them and do them man and, and 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 separate from that evilness that you was once engulfed in you know what i'm saying separate from that evil man let me get revelations 2 and 10. revelations 2 and 10. bear with me okay this is the book of revelations chapter 2 and verse 10 and it reads Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that ye may be tried, and ye shall have and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life, man. So stay on that righteous path, even though the devil may cast you into prison, family may turn their back on you. You know what I'm saying? People may start looking at you different talking about you real bad because you used to be super evil and now you repent it you changing your ways and now you're on the path to righteousness so people thinking you faking the phone but you dead serious about these scriptures don't let none of that distract you man because in the end your gift is greater than anything you could have ever imagined you're gonna have a crown of life man and that's worth that's worth um dying for really you know that's worth dying for man because with these vaccines coming you know, your your faith is really about to be tested. You know what I'm saying? With everything what's happening into in the world today, your faith is really about to be tested. So do you love the most high or do you love the world? You know what I'm saying? Endure until the end, man, so you can receive that crown of life. You know, because the devil is really gonna catch the deceiver is really gonna cast you into prison, man. Gonna cast some of us into uh prison. Only the ones that are keeping the laws and commandments of the Most High. If you're not keeping his laws and commandments to the best of your ability, the devil not worried about you. I promise you. He not worried about you because he already know where you stand. You know what I'm saying? All right, so let me get the book of Revelation chapter 3 
in verse 11, and I'm going to close out with this. Right? It says, um, Revelation 3 and verse 11. Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. Right? So once you receive that crown, man, don't let nobody take that crown from you. You know what I'm saying? You already a king. You a priest on this earth. We all kings and priests. We're a nation of kings and priests on this earth, man. Don't let nobody take your crown. Don't let nobody take your crown. Don't let your rib take your crown. Don't let your children take your crown. Don't let your, your friends, the people you call friends, take your crown. You know what I'm saying? Because those are the ones that the, the serpent, you know, Hashatan going to use to try to get you to go off track. You know what I'm saying? He going to use those that's close to you to try to get you to go off, man. So, so you don't get that crown. So he can take your crown. You know what I'm saying? Just endure until the end. Turn from your wickedness, man. Stay away from that evil stuff, man. Don't go back into the world. Don't go back to celebrating these traditions, man. These traditions of man. Don't go back to believing that the laws are done away with. Don't go back to your sin, man. Don't go back to your sin. Stay away from it. Like Yahweh shall always tell you, man. Sin no more. Repent and sin no more. Sin no more, man. Stay away from it. Stay away from it. Right? And I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shabarakata. Enduring to the end, man. It's HOI Sin City, HOI Las Vegas. It's HOI to the chariots fly. Shalom, Yasharala. Channeling my energy, Ruach Hakadesh, Aki next. I don't gotta flex, no. I'm my only real enemy. Mm. You can kill my flesh, but you can't finish me. Mm. Spirit, Liddy lyrics, Liddy rib, Liddy kids, Liddy crib, Liddy a a a a. I got fringes on my garment. I'ma keep these laws regardless. I'm a martyr, a a a. I'ma go hard to my last day If I use my first mind, I can never come in last place Phone twerking, cause I'm tryna make that bag shake I'm surfing, but they still riding on my last wave Tap in, if you in a trap, feeling trapped in Invest in your mind before trying to get them racks in Follow the commandments, get the kingdom on the back end We been at the bottom for too long, feeling packed in Speeding with a heater, got no L's, gotta stash it I can't get caught lacking, they'll wag me in traffic I Leo ass in shock if you think you on static Put the blade to your head, now your name is spent the gadget mm -hmm. I've been channeling my energy, Ruach Hakadesh, Aki next, I don't gotta flex, no I'm my only real enemy, mm. you can kill my flesh but you can't finish me mm. Spirit, Liddy lyrics, Liddy rib, Liddy kids, Liddy crib, Liddy a a a a. I got fringes on my garment, I'ma keep these laws regardless, I'm a martyr, ayy Got a war is on his way, I ain't talking about no Kratos Put pressure on your brain, do that thing like tomatoes I need everything golden, I was chosen since the day old I need rolly, 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 make it dance like Ayo Teo, ayy If you ain't repenting, why you sinning, you are slacking Investing in my spirit, gaining knowledge, what you stacking Thief in the night, you won't hear the door cracking Like he in the nose, bleeds, you won't See him clapping. I bet you think you slick, you think you smarter than a genius. Out here cause a sin and I do not know why you scheming. Better put yourself together for you take apart your cranium. Every stay we in, we be tearing up the stadium. It's ridiculous. If you sneeze, it gets sickening. Black or white, you should know that it don't make a difference. He'll take away your breath if you challenge him like cinnamon. Reaching in the glove, cause I be here wearing Michigan. Y'all got perfect aim. If they run, he ain't missing. Them. If you try to run off with my things, bro, bro, tripping them won't leave no evidence The clean up crew, retro residents, corruption skeletons Please repent before you sin, mm. I've been channeling my energy, Ruach Hakadesh, Aki next I don't gotta flex, no, I'm my only real enemy, mm. You can kill my flesh, but you can't finish me, mm. Spirit, Liddy lyrics, Liddy rib, Liddy kids, Liddy crib, Liddy a a a a. 
I got fringes on my garment. I'ma keep these laws regardless. I'm a martyr. Ay, ay, ay.